Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about yet another PC cleaning app. So this one is called Reg Organizer. So it sounds like it's a registry cleaning tool, uh, but it's not, even though it has some registry cleaning features in it. So there's two versions. There is the free version, which is what we're going to use, and then a pro version, which you pay for, which has additional features, uh, which are indicated by a lock here. So you can see uh, the app update feature you can't use and removing application leftovers you can't use. So when you first open it, it'll bring you to this express check page where it'll give you an idea of how much stuff it could clean. So 31 gigabytes, so that's quite a bit. Uh, one startup app to optimize, uh, some privacy sections here. So we have four megabytes and 177 items for OneDrive. And if you click on it, it'll take you to that section. So some of these will show you what it's going to do when you click on it. While others, you just click on it and it does nothing. So even though these are checked, it doesn't necessarily mean there's something to clean up. Like for example, I'm not using remote desktop on this computer, but it is checked by default if you want to clean up that information. And so we have all this other stuff here too. Like so. So you could just check or uncheck the things you want to clean up or not clean up. All right, so let's go back here again. So, so no matter which one of these you click on, it'll take you to that same page. And so here's some tweaks, so we'll get to these in a second. All right, then we have our system cleanup. So if you were to click on this and then click on OK, it would take you to the system cleanup. And it's just telling you that you need to close your web browsers before continuing uh, so they could clean up the information from those. All right, so we have some cleanup locations here that you could check or uncheck. And if there's a gear icon, there's some settings that you could go to. And you could actually get to these settings from the app itself. And then you just click on Start Scan, and it'll take you back to this page that we saw here. And then the private data cleanup is what we saw from the main page as well, where you could check the items you want. And then we have this advanced section, Startup Applications. So this right here is their Auto Run Organizer app built into this one. So they have a standalone version of this, uh, which we did a video for if you want to check that out. So if you're just interested in this part of it, you could just use the uh, standalone version. And this just allows you to check your boot up time. So we did a couple tests here. And then you could disable or enable items, uh, delete them, uninstall them. And then some of them you could go through and delay the loading time. So if you want to see more information about that, check out that video. And then we have the application section. So this kind of breaks it down into large, new, and rarely used applications. And it just kind of shows you how much space they're using. Remove application leftovers. You can see that's part of the pro version. There's no installed application updates, no removal tools from developers. So you can just right click on it, uninstall, uninstall with special options, move if possible, I search online, open the registry information for it, which will open it up in their app. Open the install folder and that type of thing. Okay, at the top here we have the express check, system cleanup application, so kind of the same items you see on the left here. Uh, they have a registry editor, so you probably don't want to mess with this unless you really need to because you might end up uh, causing more problems than you're fixing. Important registry parts, tweaks, snapshots, which is all the same stuff down here on the left. So here's important registry parts. Once again, something you may not want to mess with, but it just kind of shows you some leftovers. And then you could get rid of them if you like. And before we get to tweaks, let's look at registry snapshots here. We could make a snapshot of your registry. And then if you make some changes or you come back later, you could load it and compare it with the current registry to see uh, what the differences are. All right, so let's go to the tweaks here. So we have all tweaks, and then we have them broken down into categories here. So, you know, simple things such as do not play the Windows sound at startup. If you double click it, you could change that to on and then reboot from here if you want. 
And then if you want to, you know, pause the video and read about some of these others, you could do so. And then we have some appearance tweaks. So if you want to check these out as well. And then some miscellaneous tweaks. And then down here we have an option to create the new tweaks and groups. So you can see there's various items here that are grouped. And then if you click on create a new tweak, you can go through this wizard here, type to create. So this is more of an advanced thing. If you know how to actually create these tweaks, you could go in there and make your own custom tweaks. And then if you double click on one, you could check out the tweak information here. Like that. Okay, so let's go back to the system cleanup here. Start the scan again, we'll see what it finds. Okay, so while that's scanning, you can actually come up here and click on theme to change it to dark so it'll actually close the program and reopen it in dark mode. And then here we have the licensing, check for updates, uh, some import data from registry file, undo any changes, and so on. And then right here we have the settings, or you change the theme as well, skip the UAC prompt, have some background functions, custom files if you want to add to remove these during cleanup, what you want to do with invalid shortcuts, private data cleanup, you could add or remove items from there. So if you maybe want to change what the program considers a large application, you could change that from the default 200 megabytes and then the rarely used for number of days. Then you have your ignore list, uh, connections, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, some options for obsolete tools if you want to enable these. And your language. Okay, so now we could free up 31 gigs. So before you do that, you might want to just, you know, check or uncheck anything here. So you don't delete something you don't want to. Like for example, if you don't want to delete your recycle bin, make sure it's unchecked. Or your temp folder, thumbnails and so on. Okay, so we're gonna click on cleanup. We'll see how long this takes here. So we'll probably just pause or speed up the video for this. We'll see how long it takes. Okay, so that was actually pretty quick. So 31.3 gigabytes, 5,700 items. Then you could actually set up scheduled cleaning if you want. Then it takes you back to the main screen. So as you can see, it does uh, quite a bit here. So now you can see it says the cleanup is not necessary now after scanning that. And then of course you can still go to the privacy section and clean up all this as well if you want. All right, so there is your overview of Reg Organizer. So I will put a link in the description where you can download it and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.